the video for applications of the equations and I'm going to show you how to write the system of equations. The first one's pretty simple. Let's start with that one. I'll let you work on the rest of them and you can ask some questions about it. I'll read it. First parents anniversary party, Juan is considering two different venues. Prairie Street Brew House, which will cost $669 for a reservation plus $27 per person. Lino's will cost $178 for the reservation and $28 per person. How many people would have to attend in order for the costs to be the same? What would that cost be? Now, I don't like the way that they wrote cost for brew house, cost for Lino's, because they already told you it's going to be the same. So why not just write the cost? Okay, so how would you do that? What would you assign the cost since you don't know it? Let's make it Y. And they tell us that at Prairie Street, it is $669 plus $27 per person. Ooh, that looks interesting. Y equals MX plus B. Only I wrote a little backwards and put the uh, coefficient in the X over there. Now, the second one says the cost of lean, or yes, Lino's is, I don't know, but we know that it is $178 plus $28 per person. Now, the way that this is set up right here makes you think, oh, wow, it's almost set up into... Uh, the elimination method. You could use the elimination method. It would work fine. It would be just fine. I will show you a couple different ways. Okay. My personal choice would make it a two-step equation. Since y is equal to y, this is equal to this. So you've got 669 plus 27x is equal to 178 plus 28x. Okay. That's just my personal, personal, local, and immediate. I would choose this simply because it's now a two-step two step equation. Subtract the 27x, subtract the 178, and you're done. Okay, so then it says x is going to equal 511, which is a huge cost, but that's y is equal to 111. Okay? So $511 is um, what X is. That's how many people would have to come to your party so that these two break even. Holy cats and jammers, people. If you ever have a party that has 511 people to it, I better be one of the 511 invited to it. So that is the number of people that you'd have to, to invite. What is the cost for this? Well, that's where you've got to take 511, substitute it in for both for the X to find out what Y would be. Okay. So let's take 27 times 511. So 735, 2, 2, 10, that's 7, 7, 7, 3, holy crap, and a stick, folks. So you're telling me that you'd have to spend $13,777 for this anniversary party to feed all 511 people. And that's when it would break even, when these two venues would be of, of the same cost. So basically... Obviously, most of you are looking at this saying, why wouldn't you just choose Lino's? Lino's is the cheaper of the two. Yes, it's $28 per person, but you're only paying $178 for the venue. It's going to take you up to 511 people to invite to make Lino's less cost-effective, cost effective, equal on the graph. So you'd have to <laughs> invite 511 people before Lino's would cost as much or more than uh, Prairie Street. So if you're having a party of 511 people, yeah, I guess you'd have to go to Prairie Street. But up in two 511, Lino's is your best bet. Now, how do I want to test that? Yes, you could put 511 into the 28. 511 times 28 plus 178. Trust me, it equals $13,777. So that's how businesses use the uh, systems of equations. They use it a lot for cost effectiveness to see how much am I going to have to sell before I start making a profit or how many people am I going to have to get to come to this before I break even or before this place is better than that place. This is typical stuff right here. This is very, it's, it's 
uh, business class 101. It's the very basics of business and economics. So try the rest of these. Set them up the same way for the most part. It's, it's pretty much similar, each one of them, to be able to find these. So go ahead, work on them. Ask me questions. I'll help you. You'll be getting another video later and another uh, worksheet later to prepare you for what you're going to be getting tomorrow. So uh, test tomorrow. Good luck. Bye.